Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So looking at the US 30 there, you can see that we've come well off the session lows. It looks to be that the uh, yuan has stabilized, that the kind of the target price that the Chinese government have been looking at is a little bit higher than what some analysts have been thinking, the midpoint range. Uh, so there's been a little bit of uh, stabilization there. And uh, that's caused a little bit of uh, kind of heart to be taken on most global equity markets. I'll be the US market has jumped the most. Um, this candle, very, very strong hammer formation followed up by a positive move this morning. Other technicals, relatively neutral. Uh, and that gives an idea about where we stand today. So in the middle of two ranges, 17,561 potential resistance, 17,361 potential support. And this should be seen as quite a strong technical message. But uh, if we do see some big moves on the yuan again, I wouldn't be surprised to see another little slide because this is the beginning of a currency war which affects more than just China. So looking at the UK 100 again, well off session low, still negative territory. Uh, we actually uh, have a move a lot lower first thing this morning, actually, kind of a strange move right there. Um, and certainly we are in the positive territory right now, about 65, 89 is the next potential support. Uh, looking at it from a daily perspective, it seems to be struggling to keep its head a little bit higher already. So uh, we'll see how that pans out later on. So looking at Japan 225, again, bounced off potential support, 20,087. Um, Higher this morning, dollar yen has increased to 124.54, so it's made back about half the loss it made yesterday, where it was firmly above 125.20. Uh, and Japan 225 moving back up towards the 28.68 level just now, so um, quite an interesting potential resistance level. It's not been able to stay and close above there for any particular length of time. Maybe we might get there at some point in the future. So, having a look then at dollar yen. Uh, you know, very strong bearish reverse, uh, bearish engulfing pattern yesterday. Uh, we've had a bounce this morning, uh, top of the range above 124.42, which also bounced off to the 21 period SMA. Other technicals not yet overbought, so this still could edge a little bit higher. But I just get a feeling that the um, the Americans just aren't going to raise rates now uh, as likely as they were beforehand. Like when we're looking at the US 30, we've seen a big sell off in treasury bonds as well, which caused the US dollar to sell off. Um, there was like maybe a 50, 60% chance of a September rate hike, and now it's dropped down to 40%. So, you know, what happens with, with, with the dollar next is, uh, is a good question because you've seen uh, sterling and Euro, sterling dollar and euro dollar both uh, be a lot higher. The euro is coming off a little bit at the moment, but we'll have a look at the FX in a second. So then looking at West Texas crude, looks to be oscillated around 43.30. Uh, we've got a bullish, cr a bullish crossover in the RSI, 30% uh, level. We're obviously massively oversold and slow stochastic, but we have been for some time. The same with the RSI, to be fair. Um, maybe we are, we are approaching a, an area where there are, so there are some interested buyers. Uh, you still have Iran to think about, uh, the Iranian oil, global demand from China, blah, blah, blah. So then looking at gold, gold still going from strength to strength. And I think this is, this is really the telling one that you're seeing right here, that there's so much buying of gold. Uh, I think some, some traders are really taking the view now that um, interest rates in the US are just not going to happen when you've got this kind of backdrop of global uncertainty. And uh, you, you know, there is a safe haven aspect to gold, but it's been widely ignored versus the Japanese yen. Um, over the last couple of weeks. So it's very interesting now that gold's going great guns and is getting quite close to 11.37. So I think this is the one to watch for a barometer for uh, US rates at the moment. Um, and uh, it certainly is uh, a very strong technical breakout. So then finishing up with Euro dollar and GBP USD. So uh, Euro dollar had another great day yesterday as people were, were unwinding their Euro um, Chinese renminbi trades. Uh, and that's caused a big spike advancement in the euro. Um, now we've had a bit of a reversal already today. Kind of a tweezer top almost right here. Quite an ugly sign to have to be positive and then push back down again. But one spot 11 is a potential support level. I think we've all been surprised by how high that has actually gotten. But it is towards the bottom of this range already for today. And if we finish up with GBP USD, uh, again, it's oscillating around one spot 56. Look at these candles here, nothing's really changed. Matter of fact, cable's pretty boring at the moment, if I'm completely honest, so not much to talk about. So in regards to today, 
you do have retail sales. That's going to be obviously a big one for uh, you know any interest rate bulls out there. But it's going to have to be something pretty amazing before it's going to have a big impact. And if we fast forward on to uh, Friday, you've got uh, Germany GDP. Uh, Eurozone CPI and then you've got uh, US PPI and that'll be another decent one for uh, for interest rate uh, bulls or decision makers out there and again that has to be something pretty special before it will have a dent on uh, people's new more negative outlook on rates in the US. So as ever guys keep you on the chart for make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.